Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Brian back with another tutorial. Today we're gonna to be going over this ghost trail effect. I've seen it in multiple music videos before. I think it's a really cool effect and it's pretty simple to do to be honest. So first what you're gonna to wanna to do is find the clip that you wanna add the effect to in Premiere and then right click on it and replace with After Effects Composition. Or if you don't have Premiere, if you're just using just strictly After Effects, you can start off in After Effects. So once After Effects finally loads up, it'll ask you to create a new project file. So just name that whatever you want. Ghost V2 because I already have one, or V1. Then what you're going to want to do is go to the Rotor Brush tool and then double click on your composition and it'll bring it into a new layer. And if anything says down here about mismatching frame rate or frame size or anything, just go to Composition and then Composition Settings and then change it to whatever it says down here. Then what you're going to want to do is just outline your subject or whatever you want the ghost effect to go on. And then if it goes on somewhere where you don't want it to, just hold Alt and it should turn to a minus sign and then outline that. And then go frame by frame by clicking Preview and then clicking Next Frame. Or you can also use Page Up and Page Down. Page Down going a frame forward, Page Up going a frame backwards. And then just go through and outline your subject. And then once you've got to the last frame in your video clip, click freeze, and what it's gonna go ahead and do is gonna go freeze and lock in all the clips. Then once you do that, if you click close on the layer, and it'll bring you into the composition. So now you can play through and see what your clip's gonna look like. And it's way easier to do, like the background was pretty contrast heavy compared to the, the subject, so it was a lot easier for me. And then what I do, just to clean it up a little bit and maybe bump up the feather to like something around 10, and then shift edge. I always bring this a little bit in and just take a little bit away. That way you don't get the exterior or whatever. And it looks like a way more clean roto brush. And then click on your layer at the bottom and click control D to duplicate the layer. And then go to the bottom layer and delete the roto brush from it. Now the top layer will be the roto brush layer and the bottom layer will just be the background. And then you're going to want to go to the top layer and then duplicate that layer once again. I'm just going to go ahead and rename these to make it a little bit easier for you guys to follow. Now once you've done that, go ahead and go over to Effects and Presets and type in Echo. And drag that onto the middle clip or the ghost layer. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to go to Echo Operator and click Composite in Back. That will add the layer behind the subject. And then you can tweak a bunch of things like how late you want the echoes to come in. I like just changing this a little bit, just make it a little bit longer, like negative 0.043, and then just bumping up the number of echoes. Let's do something like five here. And then I like to change the K, and what that is is basically just how much more transparent it's going to get each time. So I do something like 0 0.8 or 80%, so I think it takes away 20% transparency each layer. And then you have something like this. Now I think this effect right here is pretty cool, but what you can do is you can go ahead and if you have the Sapphire plugins, you can add Flicker. I think Flicker is pretty cool to add on the ghost layer, um, sometimes some glow, or even some directional blur, or just blur in general. Let's add, let's add Gaussian blur here, and then repeat edges, and just crank that up to like, I don't know, 10 or something. And then it kind of gives you this more of a ghost looking effect and it's flickering. It just adds a little bit more substance to the effect. I think they both look cool and you can add many different effects to the ghost layer just to change it up and make your ghost effect a little unique and different from everyone else's. So this was a quick and simple tutorial. If you guys made it all the way to the end, please leave a like, drop a comment, check out my Instagram. I'm going to be posting a bunch of visuals that I do there. If you want to check out any of my music videos that I've done before, That'll be on the Wonder World channel. The link will be in the description, so go check those out. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. So, peace.